Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about explaining things to a senior. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what did have you ever been in a situation where you had to explain something that felt very simple to you to a senior developer? Well, uh, yes, I have uh, a few times. I think that the the one that struck me the most would have been when I was in school uh, and my teacher who had been working as a Java programmer for I think at least 10-15 years or something like that uh, he was gonna show us how to create a runnable and executable jar basically and he didn't know how to do that. All the practically everybody in the class knew because we had just done it, part of some other project that we had been working on, right? But he didn't know, and that struck you know most of us as a little bit odd. And then he explained that, well, uh, I'm, this is not something that I've ever done as part of one of my like of of work because usually, uh, at least from the projects that he's been working on. The you don't actually it wasn't a convention such as with Spring Boot these days or, or any of the other web embedded web servers that you can buy into that you did this you simply had something like JBoss or Glassfish or Tomcat or something like that and then you had that web server pick up your jar and your WAR file or an AIR file if that was what you you were using and. And that was the way you did it, right? So running a Java well archive as you would run a binary. Well, it's not really the same. It's not. It's not the same thing. It's just like running it as an executable. It was not something that he had ever done. And the thing is, like, uh, I I get the sensation that what we're fishing for in this question is that we're trying to find something that is embarrassing embarrassing for a senior developer to not know or like some find a story from my past where I can very clearly show that oh this senior what the hell how could they have missed something so obvious and I'll tell you a dirty secret you're gonna be that senior mark my words even if you are the most passionate developer who ever lived you're gonna be that person who gets to face off against someone who hasn't had the same amount of years in the industry as you have or something like that and they are going to ask you something and you will not know or you will have a loose grasp of the thing and you're going to get it wrong and if you're really unlucky you're going to do that on a youtube video and you're going to suffer for it for the rest of like uh, well you could of course take down that youtube video but you don't care enough about the opinions of these people that uh, you do because the most of the stuff is correct but one or two things were incorrect and so you just live with it and that's going to be you and i i mean i have more stories than that i have the coworker that I worked with that I still look up to as probably the person that I would aspire to be uh, as a career professional is uh, he uh, has been working for many a years and he know he has a better head for software development than practically anybody I know a just sitting and working with him taught me more in a month than practically I could I taught myself in I don't know how how long and uh, he types with his index fingers just like my grandmother and at first I was a little bit surprised at seeing that but then I kind of and I just asked him and said yeah I was thinking about taking some typing lessons or something like that but I really did, I have never gotten around to it and the thing is that this person has contributed more to the code base we were working on than anybody else. He alone, uh, like if we combined the contributions of practically almost, not everybody, but almost all the other developers, he would still match us in terms of code changes and improvements. And he always worked late, came in early, worked late. I mean, he was there, he was basically either arriving or there when I got in to work, and he was still there when I went home. 
I've never seen a more uh, more dedicated uh, like uh, developer ever uh, that at the same time emb em em like embodied all of the positive qualities that I will look for in a personal mentor as a software developer. Uh, I really wish for everybody who's watching this or listening to this that you will find someone uh, that great to mentor you because uh, I feel truly privileged to have been part of that and it didn't matter to me like sure it seemed a little bit odd at first because you of course as someone who has been working with computers your entire life you don't really consider that this uh, he's a little bit older that he he didn't I mean he wasn't he didn't grow up with smartphones he didn't grow up with uh, like computer games and stuff like that he had to adopt it and after doing so he was still able to outcode me on a bag <laughs> on a good day he would be he would he would completely smash me in terms of coding skills that's how good he was and the same thing has happened is gonna ha has happened to me more than once where someone has asked me a question and either I th like I thought I knew the answer but it turns out that I wasn't really correct and y just that's a, that's a part of it sometimes you get things wrong there's just so much to know that you can't know at all and I can give you a side story that's coming up for me where like I have a team of I'm trying to I've been lobbying for moving from my current team over to a more operations focused role because I want to get better at that thing and in that team works a guy who was a, a junior developer who he started when he first started he was fresh out of college and I, ha I mean he has always been someone who like we've done a bit of mentoring and we've been like uh, being part of conversations and so forth and I've always in practically every uh, in every single interaction that he's ever had within the company in every story I have been the senior developer in in this relationship and now I'm trying to get into his team where he has now been working full-time as an operations or DevOps engineer for a few years and although I know my way around this tool suite he's been doing this this has been his focus he knows tons of stuff that I have no idea of and Guess who I'm gonna have to guess who I'm gonna go to and ask for help when I'm stuck on my my work. So that's uh, I hope like uh, the subtle message there should be, guys, that don't be a dick to people because even that junior developer that today might actually be able to teach you something or you might need that person in the future. So don't have a, a lot of prestige there people there are things that you will not know and there are things that other people won't know and just be open transparent and nice to people and trade that information and I promise you it will everybody will be, be better off for it so what I want you to take away from this is that uh, I have more more than once had these moments where some gap in somebody's knowledge has been like wow I can't believe that you don't know that uh, even from senior developers even in myself like yes, and it does happen you can't keep everything you keep everything straight and know every single thing about everything and I'm sorry if somebody has has tried to convince you that that's the case I promise you there are tons of stuff that uh, is like gaping holes in knowledge in even the most veteran programmers and it really at the end of the day it doesn't really matter all that much because as soon as you find the hole you plug it with some knowledge and then you move on and sometimes you will actually find that even if you have been working for years and years and years and you've always been quote unquote the senior you're gonna find yourself in a work situation where you're gonna have to do something that you're not as knowledgeable about and then that junior developer that you used to help or I uh, hopefully not you were addicted to is gonna be your best option to learn those new skills so think about that when you're going through your career have a great day